Now, that's a lesson we learned again this year in the life and in the passing of Frank Buckles, our last veteran from the First World War, he passed away at the age of 110. Think about it. Frank lived the American century. An ambulance driver on the Western Front, he bore witness to the carnage of the trenches in Europe. Then, during the Second World War, he survived more than three years in Japanese prisoner of war camps. Then, like so many veterans, he came home, went to school, pursued a career, started a family, lived a good life on his farm in West Virginia. Even in his later years, after turning 100, Frank Buckles still gave back to his country. He'd go speak to school children about his extraordinary life. He'd meet and inspire other veterans. And for 80 years, he served as a proud member of the American Legion. The day he was laid to rest, I ordered the flags be flown at half staff, at the White House, at the government buildings across the nation, at our embassies around the world. As Frank Buckles lay in honor at Arlington's Memorial Chapel, hundreds passed by his flag-draped casket in quiet procession. Most were strangers who never knew him, but they knew the story of his service, and they felt compelled to offer their thanks to this American soldier. And that afternoon, I had the privilege of going over to Arlington and spending a few moments with Frank's daughter, Susanna, who cared for her father to the very end. And it was a chance for me to convey the gratitude of an entire nation and to pay my respects to an American who reflected the best of who we are as a people. And Legionnaires, it was a reminder not just to the family and friends of Corporal Frank Buckles, but to the veterans and families of every generation. No matter when you serve, no matter how many years ago that you took off your uniform, no matter how long you live as a proud veteran of this country we love, America will never leave your side. America will never forget. We will always be grateful to you. God bless you. God bless all our veterans. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.